All right, I've pretty much already raided the mod, but here's a here's bonus episode while we're exploring one of the secrets, the Forgotten Passage. We've been that way. Do 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 and such. Hey, just go around in a. It begins. Wait. I don't want to go that way. Oh. Where's this go then? Okay. Alright. Ooh, I hear something. about to say, do I have to take back what I said about custom armor and stuff? But it looks like I don't have to so far. Is there anything else here? Is there, like a, is there a point to this? I was expecting some kind of secret. But it's just, uh, walkways. Is there a switch hidden in there? No? Huh. Huh. I'll be kind of bummed if this ends up to go nowhere. That might knock down the score, but <laughs> we'll find out. On the next episode, no. Was that a candle or was that a potion? That was a candle, okay. Uh-oh, it's the deepest. No, stop that. Kind of glad I don't, well, I guess, no, it's not mandatory that I see that place again. Oh, here we go. So after uh, this, I, you stumble upon this area, I suppose. Lamp. Oil? Rope? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. Oh, holy crap, I'm rich. As long as you have enough ruples. Stuart. Oh. Oh. Do I have to take it back? Do I have to take back what I said about custom armor? Custom weapons? Black armored robe, black gauntlet, okie dokie. We're gonna take a look at it. Huh. A lot of gold. Doesn't seem to be anything you can do with it, though. So? What do we have here? Nothing. Well, kind of disappointing. Amber mold. Cool. Interesting stuff. It's kind of weird that it would just be that one chest with stuff in it. I'm really curious if anything else is lying around here. It's not a Varla stone. Huh. Just a hidden throne area thing? I don't know. I don't know if this constitutes as one secret or two. Oh, let's have a look at that armor, huh? Well, there you go. Dun, 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 dun. This totally doesn't look right. And the white one looks similar. And this is Zelos. No, okay. Stop it. Uh, but yeah, uh, one thing I was thinking about while, while trying this stuff on is that you know, maybe a 10 out of 10 isn't fair for this because there aren't any NPC. well, there are NPCs, but there aren't really... I don't know. Uh, crap. <laughs> Wait. Oh, well, that's where we went, okay. So that's where we have to get back, and that's not a door. But it looks like one. So I don't know. 
You know, it's, I think it's more built to be fancy than it is to... Kind of hard to call that, though. See, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm, kind of locked between 9 and 10. I mean, there's definitely nothing wrong with it. The textures are very good. It's a, it's NPC friendly. It's easy to get here. There's no quest, but, you know, it's a play around home. So that shouldn't really be a problem. Custom music is good. I still feel like I haven't been down all these passages, but maybe I have. Whatever. Let's just leave so I can start talking about the final rating again, and then stumble upon the other secret. No, not really. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. I just randomly thought about that, because usually... I, this is something like I would design. I would design something to be behind this curtain. And then I saw that and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. There's a freaking secret here. So, you know what, we're going to go back to the master, master's, uh, master's chamber. Now I have another thought. So yeah, I don't know, if you were expecting NPC guards or some, or some kind of staff actually walking around the, the place, go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10. But if that stuff doesn't really matter to you, I'd probably say 10 out of 10. Curtains. More evil curtain. There's chests behind these curtains. No secrets? Hmm. Hmm. So it seems like the secret would be involved with the master bedroom if, if, if there was another one. I swear it said two secrets though. And I think we've only gotten one. Could've been, it could be that pool area. That pool area was pr wait. Is this? Oh, it looks like that was another block or something. Okay. Yep, yep. Any of you who know my tactics for hunting secrets Wait, is that a secret? No, I'm just kidding. Alright. Curtains over here to hide? Yeah, there were. See, though, this one, these you can, like, blatantly see behind, so maybe that would be too obvious of a secret. So there's probably nothing here. Uh, there's a second secret probably somewhere, though. I'm not sure. That was really cleverly designed, though. I mean, they disallowed you to... Uh, see it with the cursor, you had to act just, like, click on it. Curtain here. Everything deals with curtains now. The curtains have all the secrets. Ah, probably stop now. Wait, maybe the mirror takes you to another land. No, that's Silent Hill origin. Unless we're in Silent Hill. <gasps> Holy crap! <laughs> Alright, yeah, so that was Theron. I'd go ahead and say if you want to pick this up, get ready to staff it up with some of your own NPCs. Get them walking around in the dining hall. And once again, from the, the first part, someone help me out here. And there's, a, there's something I can be doing here to make NPCs just kind of sit around and uh, sit at t dining tables and eat and whatever else. Because I can't figure it out with uh, the actors, uh, what is it, actors in charge. There might be a CM Partners command, too, like I said. I just haven't looked closely enough. All right. So, I will see you in the hot... Actually, no, I won't. Get the crap out of my palace. No, I'm just kidding. All right, everyone, that's Theron. 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, depending on what you favor. I'll see you later for the next Oblivion Mod Review. Thanks for watching.